Hi guys, my name is Beth Safarian. I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist here at Proactive Pelvic Health Centre. So today I'm going to be talking to you about a couple of things that you may be doing in your everyday life that you didn't realize affect your pelvic floor. Uh, first and foremost, the most common thing um, that I see and hear about is straining with bowel movements. Um, so constipation is a very common condition um, for people to have and and unfortunately because of that a lot um, one of the biggest strategies people use is pushing bearing down breath holding um, in order to help them generate enough force to, to pass a bowel movement um, not only does this increase your risk of things like hemorrhoids but it can also put a lot of pressure on the pelvic floor muscles as well as the fascia that supports the pelvic floor organs as well, the pelvic organs. Um, so a couple of options or strategies that I give people to do when I hear that they are breath holding and bearing down is um, one being exhaling when they are pushing or need some extra um, effort happening there. So exhaling through the mouth rather than breath holding and pushing all this pressure downwards, the pressure therefore can escape through the mouth. The other thing I recommend too is um, sitting in a position in which your feet are elevated on a stool so that your knees are above hip height, okay? Um, this this um, stool puts you in an optimal position to help allow for an easier um, passage of a bowel movement, okay? The next thing I wanted to talk to you about are just because peas, okay? So just because peas are um, when you go to the washroom, when you go pee, um, without the actual urge to go. So you, you're about to run out and do a bunch of errands, so you just quickly go to the washroom and, and empty your bladder. Um, what this kind of turns into, it starts as a habit that you just, you know, out of convenience are doing, but then after years and years of enforcing this habit, it actually becomes um, a need, a real urgency that um, cannot be controlled. Uh, so I see a lot of people going pee 15 to 20 times a day, um, sometimes also dealing with urge incontinence where they get an urge and they can't hold it and have some leakage occur as well. Um, so we, we always kind of encourage people to keep in mind that a normal amount of time in between voids is about two to three hours. So just kind of bringing an aw awareness to that rough baseline measure, um, just to get an idea of how often you're really going. So again, two to three hours between voids or about five to eight times in a day. Those are some very general um, uh, values for you to kind of reflect on for yourself. Last thing I want to talk to you about is rushing when you're peeing. So a lot of the time people will complain of going to the washroom then 10 minutes later feeling like they have the urge to go again. Uh, this indicates to me that they're not emptying their bladder and are likely rushing when they are voiding, okay? So what I say is just taking your time. So sit down, relax, take some breaths, focus on letting go of your pelvic floor um, because that's an important component of allowing yourself to fully empty your bladder, okay? Um, so these are a couple of things that are very common that people are doing in day-to-day -day life um, that may be affecting their pelvic floor. So again, straining with bowel movements, just because peas, and then rushing when urinating on the toilet. So just kind of taking some time to reflect on those things and also when in doubt, coming to a pelvic health physio to get those things assessed and, and see what's normal and what might need to be worked on.